Hey guys, today I'm back with another design team project for Queen and Company. This is the Spiderweb Shaker Set. Um, it comes with a die, two card bases, two foam pieces, and two acetate pieces. So you can make multiple cards having the die, but you can make your first two with the supplies they give you. Um, I will have it linked below, and I didn't look beforehand, but I'm pretty sure there's a refill kit you can buy. But if there is one, um, I will link it below. And I say refill kit, that's not right. Um, a refill package. So here's the die. It is A2 size, so five and a half by four and a quarter. And then here is the card base. You get two of them. I still have two. I've actually already made a card with this. I'm going to show you in a second. But I used a black card base. And then here's the foam piece. And what you do is you just punch the center out. And this is the piece you're going to use. But this is great to keep. Definitely keep this. I keep all the insides of my little foam pieces from Queen & Company. They come in handy. And they're nice and thick. So if you really want some dimension to your project, they're great. And here is the acetate sheet. So I had made a card, I made a video, and I was going to post it, but I'm like, you know what, I'm really not really liking the way it was looking for a video. The card is cute, but I wanted to do a little bit, something a little bit different. So here's the card. I used some Queen & Company toppings, um, and then I have this orange glitter paper from my stash. Um, and the card's fine. I just, I just wanted to make another one and do it a little bit different. So the thing I'm going to do different is I'm actually bringing in the new Fright Fest kit. Now this was just released. It is currently in stock as of me filming this. And I will be doing a 10 cards, one kit with this this week. Um, assuming it doesn't go out of stock look for this this week. I'm going to work on it after I work on this card so I can get it out as soon as possible. But I love this kit. You have all the little pieces. You have Boo, a spider web, a graveyard pumpkin, and a little boot. And then here are some sample cards. And for this, I will do an unboxing with the 10 cards, one kit. But for this card today, I'm going to cheat and get in here a little bit and use some of the products so and here are just, just kind of a preview of everything that comes to the kit and then look how big this boo die is oh it's so exciting i need to I need to get this out there quickly <laughs> so today i'm going to use the stamp set and the paper because um this card was just plain old black it's from the card stock or the card base and although this glimmer paper, glitter paper is beautiful, I just wanted to do something different. I don't know. I wasn't 100% pleased with that one. So here is the stamp set from the kit. Have a frightful and delightful Halloween. Halloween wishes to you from me. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. If the shoe fits, there is a scare in the air. Eat, drink, and be scary. Would a bad witch wear shoes this fabulous? Pumpkin sweet spooks treats. Open if you dare. Over the hill is better than under it. Give me something good to eat. Witches have all the fun. Candy, please. If you read this, you are blissfully unaware of what is creeping up behind you. Oh, that's cute. So you get a great amount of sentiments. This is a 4x6, I'm pretty sure, um, stamp set. So your regular size, yeah, regular size stamp set. And here is the adorable pattern paper that I think, I think I'll get a better result. Personally, my taste with using the paper for my shaker card. So you get, like always, 12 styles, 24 papers, four sheets, each of six double-sided papers. Fright Fest. And I believe you can get this paper pack individually. You don't have to get the kit to get the paper pack. Um, and if that's the case, I will link it individually. And I'm going to link the kit as well, just in case you want to grab one before they go out of stock. Because I'm pretty sure they will. Pretty sure it'll be a popular kit. So just go through these real quickly. I do like that Queen & Company includes four designs because then since it be it is double sided you're not having to pick and choose you have plenty to um plenty of papers to use without feeling like you're missing out on using one side so and then it repeats itself 
so here are all the designs. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put our shaker piece together. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the video of me cutting this out of the glimmer paper. I will show you how I cut it out and what I use in my big shot if you have problems with intricate dies. Now this isn't so intricate, it, it would be a problem, but I figured why not make it the easiest way possible as you can to cut something out like this when there is a lot of spots that need to be punched out. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that in here and then we will come back and I will put the shaker piece together. I will be in a voiceover though, so it will be sped up since um, me talking live will make the video a lot longer. So hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so here is a precision plate. It's a thin piece of whatever material it is that helps with intricate dies. So I have my base plate down. I take off the plastic piece and then I add the intricate, pl uh, die, intricate platform in its place, place my paper and die down, and then I place my plastic piece on top to create the sandwich. And that, and I run it through twice. Wh whether it's necessary or not is remains to be seen on certain things, but for this glimmer paper, it has a backing to it on the back that's very plasticky, so I knew running through it twice would help. And here I'm using my little foam pad with a Sizzix brush and just running over it and it's popping out all those pieces. Now, the bigger pieces towards the bottom, you could pop out easily, but like the center piece, it's nice to have the brush at least get it started. And remember, like I said, this paper has that plastic film on the back. So if you're just dealing with normal cardstock, it would come out a lot easier. But um, if you're not familiar or you're new to card making, these are some great tools to have you know, in your stash. Here I've gone ahead and removed the backing of the foam piece and attached the acetate. You can do this however, whatever order you want. You can put the acetate on the, the black piece of cardstock first and then add the foam. Um, I kind of experiment, since I do make quite a bit of shaker cards with Queen & Company, I kind of experiment what works best for me because my goal is to line it up. I don't want to see, I want to see as little white as possible from the foam piece. And the when the foam piece does not have its center, it can easily move around and lose its shape. So just practice, you know, whatever works best for you. Um, I wonder if I took a black Sharpie and colored the edges of the foam piece, how that would look. I may, I may try that on a scrap piece of foam. Here I'm adding some toppings from my stash and sequins. The toppings are from Queen & Company and the sequins are just random from my stash. So I will include the toppings that I used below with the exception of the sequins because the sequins are, I don't know where they're from. Um, I go ahead and remove this backing very carefully, remove my finger <laughs> and then go ahead and attach my paper and I make sure that it is well attached because I have made a shaker card where I flip over the, the shaker and shakers go flying everywhere because it was not attached. And then I just trim it up, clean it off. I go ahead and attach it to my card base and I'm going to go ahead and use this white card base that came in the, in the set. And I've gone ahead and stamped out a sentiment from the kit um, stamp set and heat embossed it in white and then I used a square uh, rectangle stitch die to cut it out. Go ahead and attach that and then I clean it up a little bit. I, I don't, I'm not the best at hearing things straight so there's always scissors to fix that. Go ahead and attach the sentiment and then that will complete this card. So really simple. I think you could do a lot with this die. I'll have a lot of fun with it. It's very easy to die cut. Like I said, the precision plate helps. And if you have the brush, it helps. But this die is not bad to punch out those pieces at all. So um, all links will be below. Let me know what you think of the card. Really quick, simple card that's a lot of fun for Halloween. And stay tuned for the 10 cards, one kit using the kit I showed at the beginning. I have half done. So that'll be up soon. And I'll catch you guys next time.